the show. metal, perhaps it should be illegal, is not all one way. If we gave the states the idea of music as physical assault, then they just repaid the compliment with such bands as KISS, who have the same effect as using Brillo pads to get rid of acne. KISS arrived in this country in May. This is a film record of their first British concert. <laughs> KISS crossed the Atlantic with great quantities of pre-match publicity and with a devastating pile of equipment. Apparently they had the biggest stage act since Nuremberg. Later, in Germany, sensitive Jewish promoters were to have the SS symbol taken off all their equipment. But that's another story. On reflection, the media blitz and the spectacle came a bad second to the power of their music. If you let it, many didn't, you could get yourself blown away by those banks of Marshall speakers. Power cord electronics that'll suck you in and spit you right out of you. It's a big spectacle, right? What is most important to you, the spectacle or the music? The well, audience. The audience. All right, but you, what, what, you're, you're giving the audience two things. You're giving them an amazing spectacle and you're also playing <laughs> heavy, <laughs> rock awesome. metal music. <laughs> you're evil, right? Yeah. You project <laughs> evil. The question is, I mean, is there any evil in you? Well, we're not doing the show yet. I don't want to... Uh... Once yeah. we do the show, we'll Has it ever become a strain, though, having this kind of persona? No. You don't have to everybody's, well, everybody's got a cracking point, you know? What do you represent? Destruction. <laughs> Destruction. Yeah, rock and roll. Just uh, power, energy. Yeah? I think, yeah, yeah. I'm right. a drummer. Actually, it all stinks. I really do, yeah. I believe it or not. No. <laughs> you love it. You love it. No, I do. I think it. You actually like these two boys here, Love and Evil, obviously enjoy dressing up. It's not, I mean, do you enjoy dressing up? Oh, sure. I wouldn't be with them. Did you ever dress up as a kid? Oh, yeah. Run around, prance <laughs> through the house, <laughs> in a dress. Yeah, I used to get the drag that I would dress up as uh, James Cagney or come out as uh, always acting constantly. <laughs> Did you play football at school? <laughs> To a million. Are you lovely because you're the best of the band with the ladies or what? Well, everybody does well with the ladies. When you're doing well with the ladies, do you keep the makeup on? If, if they desire. You know, it's really up to the ladies. I mean, a good lover always tries to please their, their partner. Lovely. You know, so. How do you project love on stage then? I mean, what's the, I mean. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Did you ever play in little bands, like little local bands without oh, makeup? I play in pubs. Sure, I play pubs, $20 a night. Oh, you got to. Yeah, but that was all in growing up. Do you ever yearn for the days when you just stood there naked in, in an old pair of jeans and played light, easy music? Sure. I still do it sometimes, because no one knows what I look like with my makeup off, so I sneak home, call off some old friends, and we go into a pub and play. Nobody knows who I am. <laughs> How do you want your ideal audience to feel when you've finished with them? Exhausted.
Not a pleasant fellow. I actually saw a guy's eardrums bleed that night. Hate him, love him, but don't knock him. Catharsis is about the only word I can think of to describe what was happening to the several dozen members of the public beating their heads against the walls of the stage during that performance. Aristotle wouldn't have liked it, but he wouldn't have. Rock and Roll All Night brings you interviews, reviews, concerts, music, and more. So for more Rock and Roll All Night content, click subscribe.